action. Hey guys, today is a very, very sad day. And I say it's a sad day uh, simply because I'm getting rid of my baby. And when I say my baby, I actually mean my 50 millimeter Nikon lens. This is my 50 millimeter Nikon lens. This is gonna be the first video I'm gonna put up about camera talk. And this lens that I have here, there it is. It's a Nikon AF Nikkor lens, okay? Now this, this is a 50 millimeter 1.4. I started shooting photography uh, back in 2008, eh, about 2009, about my uh, freshman and uh, sophomore year of college. And I saved up enough money to get a Nikon D90 and this Nikon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. It was one of the biggest investments I ever made in my life, and I, I to this day don't regret it because now I'm doing photography, and I shoot weddings, um, and I'm trying to go into fashion. Now this lens has been with me through thick and thin. I have had this lens in the beginning. I lost my virginity to this lens, so to speak, and I've dropped this lens a couple times. I've even dropped it in a lake, and recovered it and threw it in a vat of rice to try to see if I could absorb all that moisture out of the lens, and it still works. I love this lens. I have yet to get rid of this lens. I've had my camera for around almost 10 years now. I just, I love this lens, and I don't think, I still don't think I'll ever get rid of it because it's been the, the greatest thing to me. But why am I sad? Why is today a sad day? Today is actually a sad day and a very joyous day, and I'll tell you why right now. I'm getting rid of this lens. I'm not really getting rid of it. I am putting it away because I have been shooting, like I said, for around 10 years, and my photography has taken me different places, has given me more opportunities, and has, has pushed me to try to be the best that I can be. And in order to be the best that I can be, I need to have the best gear that I, that I can have at my disposal to make sure that um, I'm pushing myself even further. So, without further ado, I am getting rid of this lens here because today I just got, let's put this up here, the Canon, so can you see that? 50 millimeter 1.2, all right? I never thought this day would come because I've always wanted this lens ever since I switched from Nikon to Canon. I purchased a Mark III, I invested in a, in a, in a really nice camera and I, and I actually, with this Nikon lens, uh, with this Nikon lens, I bought a Canon uh, adapter. There's this metal ring here that I put on this lens. Uh, so, so that I could use it with my Canon because I love this lens. It's such a great lens at 1.4. Nice uh, bokeh, uh, clear, but it was meant for a Nikon. And so I've been having to make it manual or use it manually on my Canon 5D Mark III and not have been able to use it with autofocus. So I invested, I've actually um, have gone a few weddings and uh, using that money towards this purchase here to shoot you know, more weddings, even better, with better quality, and uh, hopefully pursue my dream of shooting in the fashion industry or fashion photography world. To part of this video, I'm going to actually be unboxing uh, this uh, baby, this lens here, to show you uh, what I'm actually getting from my perspective. Let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, let's see, let's put it in, let's see, can we put it in view here? Do, 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 do. Perfect, okay. So we have the lens here. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we can uh, discover together through this, uh, this lens, all right? So let's go ahead and open it. And of course, if you are watching all you uh, Canon users, uh, you probably know the deal with getting a camera um, or getting a lens and what comes inside. You always get the uh, sort of warranty, Canon limited warranty, and you also get the EF lens instructions. Not that you really need them, right? So that's what comes uh, right out of the box right as soon as you open it. Then, what else do you get? You get this nice foam, you know, uh, in case, in, or you get this nice foam encasing inside the casing here. You get this standard nifty uh, camera lens case that the Canon loves to um, deliver with all of their lenses to 
protect your lens. So you get the case here. Let's just put that down here. And if you take this out, ugh, okay. You reveal the lens hood. And let's see. So this is the lens hood. All right. Uh, you get the lens hood. Ooh, hello. Can you see me? Anyway, after the hood, you actually get the lens. Yay! And here it is, the 50 millimeter uh, 1.2 L series. It's pretty large. It's heavy. Uh, can't wait to start using this for weddings and uh, fashion photography. Uh, if you open up the cap, there's the element. There's the glass. A uh, great thing about this lens, some facts here, is that it is weather sealed. It has a little rubber ceiling here. Um, and I had a choice between the 85mm 1.2 and the 50mm 1.2. And I got the 50mm 1.2 because the 85 is just, you know, it's about four or five hundred bucks more. And I didn't think I needed the 85 at the moment. Hopefully when I start shooting some more and get, you know, uh, have a bigger budget, I can uh, get the 85mm 1.2. That seems, I think that may be the next lens that I get. Uh, it does stop down to 1.2. It creates this really nice bouquet, dreamy, creamy look. Um, something that you can't replicate with other lenses, uh, like the 50mm 1.4 that I have from Nikon. So let's do a, let's do a comparison. And just so you can think there's nothing else in the box that is really important other than styrofoam. Let's uh, compare these two lenses. <laughs> Here's the 50mm. 1.2. Here's the 50 millimeter 1.4. As you can see, the size is pretty significant. I don't know if you can see, but if I focus in, uh, there's like so many. Like I've used this thing. Like you can see all the, the wear and tear on this thing. Um, and I don't know if I'll be okay. So I don't know if you can see that. You see those marks there inside the lens? Those are dry water marks that were left inside the lens when after I dropped it in the lake. You can't see it in the photos, which is really awesome, but just every time I look inside of it, it reminds me of the day that I dropped this in the freaking lake, and uh, it, it hurts my heart all the time. But like I said, this baby has been so good to me. So yeah, this is a really quick and short video I wanted to post. Um, I'm gonna be doing a shoot this upcoming Sunday. I'm gonna be, while I'm shooting, I'm gonna be posting it live on my Facebook at uh, facebook.com, Alan Knopf, A-L-L-E-N-N-O-P. And uh, so if you want to see me shoot live, that'd be cool. It's going to be on my Snapchat at Knopster. We're going to be shooting with a model, and we're going to be using this thing and testing it out. So we'll put that together um, and post, post that up on my YouTube, see how that goes. You know, this is going to be great for my uh, you know, camera lens arsenal. When I was starting, when I got my Mark III, one of the first lenses that I got, because um, I needed it, was this here. And this is the L-Series. Um, 7200 millimeter, and this thing has been through a lot. I bought this used from my good buddy um, Aaron, but I still have this lens. It's been so great to me. Um, it's not the IS series though, so it's a it's a USM, but uh, it's not IS. So uh, you know, during those clutch situations where uh, I'm shooting a wedding and I'm zoomed all the way in, it will catch, it will get blurry and catch all my shakiness uh, when I'm trying to shoot this thing. So. I still have this just in case, but because of those reasons that I just said just now, um, I had to invest and get the uh, semi, the 200, 2.8 IS USM lens. And um, I just got this not too long ago, and it's because of this lens that this thing has uh, gotten me more uh, weddings uh, to shoot. Because of this thing, my, my photography has has skyrocketed in quality, and people have been seeing it, other people have been hiring me for these weddings, and that's how I invested into this thing, because this helped me get this. So, I know there's a lot of those, you know, um, it's the photographer that makes the lens, not the lens that makes the photographer. Sure, but if you know, if you're a good photographer and you don't have the tools you need in order to produce the uh, uh, photographs that you know you can create, that will hinder you. So you gotta, you gotta invest. You gotta make sure that you put enough effort into your photography to show how good you are in the beginning, and then you gotta, you know, invest and put yourself out there in order to get more stuff. Because 
this has instantly got me this. That's that's all that I can say. And now it's it's just to me, I feel like my photography is getting bigger and better. If you want to check me out, go to alanotphoto.com. You can also check my uh, photography on my Facebook, uh, facebook.com/slash not photography. Uh, some advice for you photographers out there that you know are looking to to do you know some really cool um, photography and shoots. Just I never thought I'd get to a point where I'd get these lenses here. I've been shooting for almost 10 years now, and and finally I've been, I've been getting good enough to get and invest in lenses like these. But please check out my photography, check out my YouTube, subscribe, like. That's all I have for you today, guys. Like and subscribe uh, if you can. I'd really appreciate it. Peace out. Bye.